Hey everybody, Lensmanos here. This is Direwolf 20 Shadow Node Server Play Episode 3. How are you all doing today? I've just logged into the server. Um, we'll kind of pick up where we left off last week with um, actually additions oil generation. So canola oil, we, uh, we need to make a couple of um, items. We're going to need some sort of fluid conduit. Uh, so not sure what we've got in the way of being able to move fluid around in this pack. Um, let's... Because I haven't been to the nether yet, so I, I don't have um, any sort of... Typing? Typing is for, for beginners here. Fluid conduit. Uh, quite clear glass. I don't have this melter yet. I guess. Uh, what is it? Smelter? Can I make an alloy smelter? Iron, 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 copper, redstone, gold. Yeah, we can probably do that. So let's grab one of them. That's bronze. What did I need in the way of copper? How many of them did I need? Just one. So let's grab a copper. Uh, turn this into nuggets. We'll grab some redstone. Wrong chest. Keep doing it. Some redstone. Uh, and then I just want a ton of iron, pretty much, isn't it? Look like there's heaps of stuff that. Oop, need those iron bars too. Thank you. Uh, yep. What else do we need? Probably a bit of cobble. How much cobble have I got? I've got nine. I've got a drawer up here. So we'll grab. Stack. There we go. Uh, shift left click. Let's grab the copper. You're just sort of chugging along, wasting power. I really need to like turn that into some sort of tiny coal or something. Yes, we do. Let's go tiny coal. That should keep going. Let's head over here and we'll make ourselves what three furnaces. One, two, three. Smoke getting in my face there. Uh, we need to make one of these. And then one of them. Machine chassis. We're going to need cauldron and one alloy smelter so let's take the alloy smelter and I'm going to plop him there so he can get power from the uh, the coal generator which I might just throw that in there for the moment I know I just said about putting tiny coal in there but I know that's going to use a ton to fill up because this can hold 100,000 this can hold 60,000 so it's pretty much going to empty that so let's just throw that in there for now. Uh, let's see. So we've got the alloy smelter. We want to make fluid conduits. Uh, so we're going to need some conduit binder and some quite clear glass. Quite clear glass. It's just glass. This should just be sand, but obviously it's glass in there. We'll see what happens when I put a piece of sand in. Let's have a look. What do you make? Glass. Okay. Interesting. So we're going to need three of them. So let's get two more. Let's throw them in. And while we're doing that, let's dump out some of these seeds that I picked up before. Uh, let's see here. Got some canola seeds. Some canola. Uh, let's get some conduit binder. So we need two sand, five gravel, two, so that one, two, three, four. Um, some of that. I think that's what it was. So let's make some of this. Should get two lots. Excellent. I'll throw that in here. Get that cooking up. 
That's our two glass. Let's put them back in. Um, right. So for those of you who uh, are just watching, starting to watch these series, um, please remember this is a public server. You are able to join it. Uh, I'm not saying that I'm always going to be there when you want to uh, log in because, um, you know, time zones being what they are, you know, I don't know where you are in the world, but um, potentially I'm not going to be able to play at the same time as you guys are, but um, feel free to log in. There is a Discord link if you use Discord. That's where most of the um, most of the support and forums are now. It's all done Discord side. So there is a link in the description below underneath the website link, which you would have just seen up on the screen there, shadownode.ca. Um, feel free to join. Feel free to play along. Any questions or queries you need, just jump on the Discord and um, ask away. Right. Uh, so that, that's going to give us some fluid conduits. Uh, I might throw um, just three more bits in here for the moment because I'll probably need a few more conduits than that. But let's get into actually additions. So I want, I'm going to want a canola press and I'm going to want a fermenting barrel. So let's do the canola press first. The first thing we're going to need is one of these advanced coils, which is gold nuggets around a basic coil, which is red stonia crystals around black quartz. So we got, not in there, got a couple of black quartz here. I've got more um, in the other chest over here. So let's just grab, um, what do we need? Right click please, four of them. All right, so we'll just do this a bit at a time. I don't want to waste waste resources or anything like that. So let's just make his basic coil. We're going to need another piece of gold. There we go. I need to do some more. Um, oop, not that one. We need some more to do some more ore doubling, but we'll get to that. So there's the advanced coil. Uh, what else are we going to need for the press? We're going to need a piece of canola and an anori crystal. An anori crystal is just one piece of iron zapped with this thing. One. Boop. There we go. There's a little anori crystal. Let's head on over here. I've got should have some cobble in my inventory. Canola press. Boop. That's one. So the idea is we've got the canola press. Um, now I'm not real sure where we're going to end up having power and stuff at the moment. It's all over here. Uh, probably, you know, this may end up being my machine area. I've got some water here, so let's, um, you know, let's just put it here. So canola press uh, requires power, so I'm going to need to put um, something next to it to to kick start it. Um, but what we're going to need. Maybe I don't want it there. Maybe I want to go. Hmm. Nah. I might not need the fluid pipe yet. Let's do the fermenting barrel. I'm just going to require some wood, a wood casing, canola, and an anori crystal. So I'm going to need another one of them. This is just wood and some sticks. So let's grab one more anori crystal. One zap, and let's see what sort of wood I've got. I've got one stick on me, so that's not enough. Do I need any wood in here? No, I know I've got wood somewhere. Uh, there's a little bit of wood. Let's grab that. I'm going to need some logs. I might have to go and chop some trees. There's some more canola. Let's duck outside quickly. Come down here and hopefully there's not too many skellies floating about. There seems to be a couple. Let's chop a couple of trees down. Just using up this last of this stone axe. Chop away here. How many have I got? Ten. 
let's just get rid of this last tree in, in the middle here. There we go. Perfect timing. All right, head back up the base. All right. Grab some more canola on the way through. Probably should be getting these seeds and just doing a little bit more here. There we go. We'll keep us going. All right. So, an ore crystal. Yep. Okay, I'm going to need probably uh, one more one more stick. So I need a wood casing. And then I need a minting barrel. Excellent. So what I'm hoping is that it'll actually push out of this canola press into the fermenting barrel when it when it does its thing. Uh, so canola press, let's just put some canola in here because we're going to need to get stuff in here. Um, now coal generator, I don't know if this will keep its power if I pick it up. I can't remember. So let's just do it anyway. You do this, you on top for now. There we go, it's actually kept its power, which is good. Uh, so this is producing canola. It looks like it's automatically pushing it over to the fermenting barrel. This does not require power. And it looks like we're getting um, some oil. So the next thing we're going to need, um, I'm going to pick this back up, put it back where it was for now. Uh, next thing we're going to need, firstly, something I am going to need, is to run that through again. Now we're going to need an oil. Where is it? Coal generator? Oil generator. That's going to require two iron casings. Iron casings are just iron sticks and black quartz. So we need another black quartz. There's two of them. Uh, going to need a few more sticks and a little bit of iron. So things are a little bit laggy today because I am actually uploading a video at the same time that I'm doing this and it makes it a little bit hard um, with the fact that my internet is pretty average to say the least. So that's the two of them and then oil generator requires cobble. There we go, we can make this. So that's the oil generator. So next step will be to grab that and then do alloy mode, one, two, three, one, two, three. Really? How did you pull through? Uh, should still have some binder somewhere. Where did I put the binder? Oh, need that. Have a baguette. Right. Um, yep. You're working through, are you? Yep, conductive iron, excellent. Uh, put the binder in here, it's fine. So that's going to give us some power wires. So if I leave that like that, I'll probably do three more of these actually. Three more, two, three, three more. It's taking a while to get through, um, but yeah, conductive iron will give us some conduits. We need one more, almost done. This should be working its magic. It'll open up. We get still got a plenty in it. Let's throw a little bit more canola in there. We've got almost two buckets of oil. Uh, where's our oil generator? Where's our oil generator? Place him down. He's drained all that oil in and he is generating a hundred RF a tick. What have we got? 1740. Oh, it went up. <laughs> it went up because it's actually pumping in from here. So I'll just let that. It's filling up nice and quick. This only produces. What does this produce? Not much. Um, I don't know what it produces because this one over here tells you what it's producing. Uh, oh, that's because it can actually handle different oils. 
so there are a few different oils and we will get into them later on uh, definitely not at the point of the series now where we can use it but this will give us uh, a bit of power and what I might do is just put a power conduit running through here somewhere to connect all these machines up um, potentially I'll move I don't know we might Seems to be doing it. See, we've got 230 millibuckets of oil in here, and this is full. So it's holding 50,000 RF, which is nice. So that's full of power. Let's grab these and make ourselves just some basic conduits. And it finally opens. Like so. 16, 640 RF a tick conduits. I think, I think these can be turned into um, hmm. I think canola, this seeds can actually be turned in canola or, or vice versa. I'm not sure if the seeds can go in here. Cool. There we go. So this is working quite well. So let's first off just run the cable like that. So this is getting power. And then I kind of want to. It's probably not the best place to run the cable, is it? Honestly. Those of you out there looking at me going, what are you doing, Lens? Are you just, you know, throwing stuff willy nilly. I don't have any sort of wrench yet either, so but what I might do kinda of wanna bring the cable up in the middle here. Or at least under the floor for these three. Move the coal generator. Come here, you. Let's dig under here. Um one there, one there, one there. And maybe we go down another level and go across this way somewhere. Is that underneath? Yes. Can I pull power out the bottom is my next question. I hope it is yes. My fingers are crossed. This works. Uh, so I want to go up. Fingers are crossed. Things are working as described. Uh, let's put the alloy furnace there for the moment. He's getting power. Excellent. So that's a nice little system. I'll, I'll get rid of... I'll probably run this underneath as well. Let's grab those last couple of conduits. One, two. And then get stuck in the floor. Generally how it works, isn't it? Uh, let's see, one, two, three. There we go, it's a little neater. Uh, and then we'll get rid of this. Very nice. So that's a little bit of power. And I know, you know, we've still got this little hole in the wall. This should keep us going for a little bit. It's got a fair bit of oil in it. This has got power. We can throw a small canola in. It'll It'll cook down or squish down turn into um, canola oil in here. This will ferment it and turn it into normal oil ready for use in our uh, oil generator. Nice and simple. Let's make the place look a little pretty. There we go. Very nice. Basic power gen from a renewable source and I guess if I really want to I can probably put um, I can probably do this conduit not there down there put the coal generator here so that if I do need to just have like a, a backup I've got no canola or something I can this will feed out into the network too and uh, backup power give it a bit of a kick start if need be if we're out of power in the canola press uh, we can kick start it with the coal generator 
Nice and simple. Let's put some materials away. Um, yep, missed. Let's see. Did I make one for gravel? No, I didn't. I meant to make one for gravel. There we go. All right, I had glass right there. Look at that. So I didn't end up using the uh, the fluid conduits yet because it seems that they can um, they can transmit between oops transmit between machines, which is a cool little feature. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Thank you. Um, you can go there. All right. Things are starting to look quite nice here. Uh, let's have a look. What else should we do for this episode? It wouldn't be too bad. Um, I wouldn't mind looking at what these drills actually are worth. I don't think I can make any of this stuff yet. Uh, maybe. That's just three diamonds. It's in a drill core. So it's 16, 17 redstone. Wow! Nori crystal blocks. So we're going to need some blocks of iron. Lots of blocks of iron. So what's that? One, two, three, seven blocks of iron. I don't have seven blocks of iron. No, we need that. Yet. I've got 14 iron dust. <laughs> um, as I said, I do need to get um, some more of this. Not the furnace. Ground up. Turned into. Um, so double it, pretty much. Grind it up, get some ore dust. Smelt it down. I was that? It's tin, copper, yep. So I, I do need to do a mining run. Um, definitely need to do a mining run. Wouldn't mind... I still don't have any more uh, aluminium. Let's just sleep. I'm pretty sure I'm the only one on the server at the moment. Right, daytime. I wouldn't mind trying to find out, find some more aluminium or aluminum wherever you whatever part of the world you're from so let's put some stuff away keep the blocks on me keep that sword yep I'll just bench it out zombies are burning burn zombie burn down here is a bit of a uh, bit of an area I guess I could potentially go mining. It's a little bit scary. I got these excellent boots on, so I probably could drop from there and still survive. Um, but what I might do, I'm going to have a bit of a look around. I'll see if I can find some more aluminium, because I just want to make a couple more casts. So I'll be back in just a tick. Right, I went out and about. I found one piece of bauxite. But that's enough to give us three ingots of um, aluminum brass or aluminium brass. Aluminium. Ah, anyway. <laughs> uh, let's make tool rod. I found some iron while I was out about to. And I want to make it out of copper. As Main Freak tells me, make it out of copper. So let's. Grab a, let's grab the four of them. In you go. One casting pattern. We've got four tools here. Let's see what we can get. Still got two ingots worth of aluminum brass. We can still make uh, a couple more patterns. Let's put these four. Ah, oh, it was bronze. Whoops. I want copper, not bronze. Four. Let's uh, do it. Did I make an ingot cast? Silly me. Silly, silly, silly me. Bronze on the bottom. Let's get this out of here because I don't want to waste it. So I'll need to use that to repair my tools. Alright, bronze is out. Copper's in. Let's let's repair the pick while I'm here. There we go. It's repaired. 
And while that's melting down, we'll take this out of here and we'll put that in. Pouring it to copper. Yep, alright. How much does this take? Hopefully it's just one ingot. Yep, so while that's setting, let's dump. I found a couple of resonating crystals while I was out and about too. A little bit of copper, a little bit of iron. Not a hole here, heap. Just after I pushed um, pushed the button to stop recording before I got attacked by a baby zombie too, which I thought was quite funny. Uh, so let's look here. We'll put you in, and if I add this on, I get the well-established trait, and you get additional XP when you're using it. It's not um, makes it slightly better. It, it doesn't really hurt. So, can't hurt to use it. And so I'll get three more of these, and I'll put them on my, um, I think I can put them all on my tools. We'll find out in a second. And I'll definitely put it on the pick, and I should definitely be able to put it on um, the sword. But whether I can put it on the shovel, I can. It's just going to make it slightly more durable. We're not going to get much in the way of, um, XP from a shovel, really. But um, it'll definitely give the tool a little boost. And as I said, it doesn't hurt. It's not it's not making it any worse. So I guess all I've got to do now is just that one other... Uh, what did I want? I wanted an axe head or a shovel head. No, I've got the shovel... What are you made of? Bronze axe? Oh, I just needed to make another bronze tool. I just needed a bronze bronze shovel head. So I guess... Put them in and we'll just make that last, last cast here. And with that we'll wrap up this episode. So we'll get this done. Not much growing outside at the moment. Bronze done. Pour it out. Like that. Excellent. Look at that. Heaps of um, durability gain. And it makes it a little bit faster too. So cool. So, I'm going to wrap it up here. Thanks for watching. We managed to get a little bit of uh, extra power generation here with the canola press. As I said, there are ways of making this better and we can produce more power from, um, from pretty much the same amount of material going in. We will look at making a better farm, I think. But, I mean, if for the moment it's working. Um, but if we're going to rely on that, we will need a, an automated farm system. And this may not be quick enough, but we'll we'll see when we get there. We've got a little bit of oil there. You've used power for no reason. As I said, that's just there to um, to kickstart procedure. I uh, found a little bit more marble while I was out, so I'll, I'll finish fixing some bits and pieces up around the base. I'm going to go and do some mining, as we are short of resources, and. Um, Next episode, I wouldn't mind trying to get some of these tools done, but I don't think I'm anywhere near that yet. I'll have to look at what we're going to do. Um, yeah, really haven't uh, considered too much. A lot of a lot of good stuff in this um, in this mod. Now we could get some. What if I'm going to mine obsidian? Oh, I can mine obsidian. I've got a diamond picks. Diamond pick here. We could probably go on mine up 24 obsidian and get um, a nice set of armor. It's very strong too. Look, durability is quite high. Plus one armor. Plus three armor. It's not the best armor in the world. Still gives us a bit of armor. Better than nothing. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll have to lose my slime boots so. <laughs> Alright. Thank you for watching. 
please leave those comments in the section below and don't forget this is a free server as I said before come and join me it's a great little community hope to see you on here see you later